sound and light, pure and bright, sound and storm, wild and warm. What's going on guys, Mods here, back with another Vegas tutorial, and today we're gonna be focusing on sound design. I will show you tips and tricks for sound design, ways to manipulate audio, and some must-know tips and tricks. And now, without further delay, let's hop into Vegas and learn the essentials to sound design. Right, we're here in Vegas now, and I've already prepared the clips, the song, and my narration. Let me show you. Sound and Sound and storm. Now as you can see my voice sounds dull and you can't even hear what I'm saying because the song is too loud. The first step is to normalize the audio. Let's first select my narration over here, go to right click on it and go to properties. Now there's a checkbox that says auto normalize here, let's click it and press ok. As you can see it boosted my voice, let me show you. Sound and light. But it only normalized this track so we need to do the rest for these. Let's do right click copy and then hold control on our keyboard and select the rest. You can see uh, they're selected. There's this yellow outline and then right click paste event attributes. This way instead of going to properties every time and pressing auto normalize, we automatically normalized all events. So let's see. Sound and light. Pure and bright. Sound and storm. Wild and warm. Now the song is still loud when I'm speaking, so to fix that, let's utilize the powerful auto-ducking feature that Vegas offers. So let's go to the track where my voice is, click these three dots right here, and go to auto-ducking controller. Now it brings up this window right here. For floor reduction, let's go like minus 15 maybe, minus 14. For peak reduction, I usually go zero most of the time and press OK. As you can see, it added this yellow line over here with like ups and downs. Now, uh, this uh, didn't fix it yet. What we need to do now is go to the track where our song is sitting, press three dots again, and then go to auto ducking listener and audio track four. As you can see, it added the green dots right here. And now if we take a listen to it. Sound and light, pure and bright. As you can see, this amazing tool fixed it. Now let's add some post-processing to my voice because it sounds dull. So if we click on FX here on my narration event, it brings up the FX window. This basically contains all audio effects you have. Now what I usually do is add track EQ. I add express FX equalization and I add smooth slash enhance. Now click add and then okay. Now let's hold track EQ and drag it to the start. And I've already have this preset that I use for my voice because it actually depends on your voice. You can mess around with this and get it perfect for your voice, but that's what works for me. Now let's go to ExpressFX Equalization and I've already also have a preset here if you want to copy it. But you should mess around with values for everything here because your voice will be different than mine. And go to Smooth slash Enhance and like enhance it to plus 3. There we go. Now let's take a listen. Sound and Light you can see it's too loud now. So let's just drop the gain a bit. Sound and light. Drop it even more. Sound and light. A bit more. Sound and light. There we go, that's perfect. And now what we do is Control C to copy and then select these events and then right click on it. Selectively paste event attributes and go to audio, event effects and effects keyframes and press OK. This will paste everything we did to this uh, event onto those two. Now let's drop the volume of this one a bit and this one also. And let's see. Sound and light. Pure and bright. Sound and storm. Wild and warm. That's perfect. Let me just drop the gain on this one a bit. Now you need to tune the audio to get that cohesion and nothing sounds too loud, but this is perfect for me. Now step two is to add some enhancing sound effects. Let's add some audio tracks here. Right click on the empty space and add audio tracks. Let's add like four of them. Let's go up a bit. And now you need to find sound effects that fit your footage. I have some ambient noises over here. Let me just drag one in to show you. Sound and light. This is for the first clip and this ambient noise is for the second clip because it's darker and warm. Now let's move this up and drop the volume a bit. Sound and light. 
There we go, that's perfect. And now let's add a fade at the end and the fade at the start. Sound and light. Perfect. Now let's do the same for this one. Let's drop the volume a bit and add fades. And then put it in the correct sequence here. Sound and storm, wild. Let me make this actually shorter a bit and then drag this one to the left more. Sound and storm, wild and wild and actually reduce its volume a bit. You need to tweak the volume a lot to get that coherence. Sound and light. Pure and bright. Sound and storm. Wild and warm. Now if you notice, my first shot is inside of like a church of a cathedral. So there should be some audio reverb in. So let's actually duplicate this track, our audio track right here. And then go back to effects here and then add another effect this time let's add efx reverb this one right here and press add then press ok now for reverb go to um cathedral i usually run with this uh preset it's already a vegas stock preset now let's see how this sounds sound and light now the reverb is too much here so let me just drop the volume a bit of this whole track that we added the reverb in to like minus 11 sound and light pure perfect now let's do the same for this one Control c to copy right to click selectively paste event attributes and then audio event effects and effects keyframes and press ok sound and light pure and bright now you can't actually hear the reverb on this one too much so let me just boost the gain up pure and bright there we go that's perfect and now we don't need reverb for this clip right here so let's just delete this there we go now a rule of thumb is to look for certain elements in your clip that need sound effects as you can see in my second shot right here there's thunder and there's uh rain so let's add some thunder and rain sound effects let's drop down add one more audio track right here and i've got some thunder noises over here by the way all sound effects i used and the music were from audio hero so link to that will be in the description down below and now let's take a listen to this thunder here sound and storm wild and warm the thunder is too loud and i just need that first strike sound and storm this one so let's just cut it around right here delete this part or actually let me just leave it for now let's leave this part for now drag it to the right now for this part let's make it meet with the start and drop the volume a bit and add a fade out sound and storm while there we go now we search in our clip when the thunder strikes we drag it and fit it there so let's see sound and storm there we go right when the thunder strikes the sound effect plays let's go Control c on this one to copy it so we need multiple thunder sounds sound and storm let's add one more here sound and storm now finally let's add some rain noises let's add another audio track here and drag our rain noise in sound and storm wild and warm you can see it's too loud so we do the same as we did we drop the volume and let's make this a bit shorter here because it's too long let's add some fades in sound and storm wild and warm there we go and this is basically it for sound effects now as i told you you gotta look for elements inside your clips that you can add sound effects to as you can see i just look at the clip i see there's thunder i add a thunder sound effect i see there's rain i add rain sound effects let's say there's birds you can add some bird noises um wind some wind noises and you can add some like complex ambient noises to just boost that audio now to clearly show you how the audio layering we did affected the video i will make you first listen to it with only my voice sound and light pure and bright sound and storm wild and warm now with music sound and light pure and bright sound and storm wild and warm finally music and sound effects sound and light pure and bright sound and storm wild and warm 
As you can see, sound design in Vegas Pro is simple and absolutely powerful. And the best part, if you purchase Vegas Pro 22 this April using my code, you will get 10% off. So, what are you waiting for? This is it for this tutorial and thank you for watching.